This is the Inlet Reach RX GNSS receiver. Now this is a network RTK GNSS receiver. It's probably one of the smallest ones on the market. Small enough that I can just put it in my pocket. It's so small that it's even smaller than a bottle of water. But this small receiver has the capability of achieving centimeter level accuracy by connecting through entry to either the cores network or the Inlet caster. You can also utilize a Reach RS2 as a base station and connect the Reach RX as a rover in order to achieve RTK corrections for all of your positions. Now this is the box that it comes in and it's small, minimal, and I'm going to show you exactly what comes inside of it and how easy it is to set up the Reach RX with your mobile phone using the new Inlet Flow app. So this is the box right here. It has the standard Reach RX labeling on the side. If I just slide the box here, it reveals our GNSS receiver. Simply pull out the GNSS receiver. There it is, nice and easy. Now this receiver only has one button and then underneath this little flap is a USB-C connection which will allow you to charge the internal battery. Removing this reveals a small blue box and inside of the box is a quick start guide and a USB-C cable. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to connect this to your phone. It takes literally less than five minutes. The first thing we'll do is power on the device. So I will press this button and hold it and then all the lights turn on. Very good. Next, I'll go into my phone settings and I will connect to the Bluetooth signal that comes out of the Reach RX. Unlike other products that depended on a Wi-Fi hotspot to connect, Reach RX has Bluetooth connectivity, which makes it much easier to connect the GNSS receiver to your phone. So there it is, RX, and I am connected to it. Next, I'm gonna be opening up the new Inlet Flow app. So I'll power on Inlet Flow, and there it is right there, RX is available. I can just tap on it, and now the receiver is connected to my phone. Now, a lot less menus to work with here, and everything automatically just connects if I go into the status, I can see my satellites in view, the PDOT, and my solution, which currently is a single solution. I can also see the coordinates of where we are and how precise these coordinates are. Now, I'm most interested in the corrections input. So in the corrections input, I can now add in new corrections. I have been traditionally using the Michigan Department of Transportation's cores network. So M.Cores, cores, I will connect to that. All right, and we already have a float solution. But you can see with a float solution, we have a yellow color. And with a fixed solution, we have a green color. So a uh, very nice indication that you can look at and know uh, what kind of solution you're getting with the receiver. I can come into the settings menu here and take a look at some additional information like firmware and receiver information, but that's it. You are now connected to your GNSS receiver and we are receiving RTK corrections via network corrections. Now I wanna actually use this GNSS receiver and measure a point with it. So we're going to be going to the nearest NGS or National Geodetic Survey control point and comparing the record coordinates of that control point to what this little Reach RX GNSS receiver gives us. So the beauty of this is I can put both my phone and my GNSS receiver in my pockets, zip everything up, and we'll head over to an NGS control point. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, here we are at the NGS control point. As you can see, it is a monumented control point with a little brass disc. And we're gonna be utilizing the Reach RX with a network correction in order to obtain coordinates and compare them to the record coordinates. All right, now I've got the Inlet Flow app open. We've already got a fixed reading on our receiver. I'm gonna come down here to survey and I'm going to select add project. We'll call this NGS point. I am the author. And my coordinate system will be set to NAD83, Michigan south and the vertical coordinate system will be NAVD88. I'll hit done and save. I'm going to stick my pole here in the center of the monument. I'll select add. I'll change the description to NGS control. My rod height is set to 5.906 which is equivalent to 1.8 meters. On the left here I'm going to select the setting. I'm going to make sure we only take a fixed reading and I'm going to turn on my timer for 10 seconds so I will take 10 shots and average all 10 of them. Okay everything looks good. We're going to plumb our bubble measure. Okay, there we go. Okay, and if I look at the coordinates of this point, here they are, and they are projected in NAD83. I also have the latitude, longitude, and ellipsoid height for this point. And if we take a look at the NGS data sheet, and if we look at these coordinates in international feet, northing, it looks like we have a discrepancy of about three hundredths of a foot. Our easting ends in 33.85. 33.80, so about 5 hundredths of a foot in the easting. So in terms of metric, that's between one and two centimeters in the X and Y coordinates. And in terms of the height, I'm gonna go up here to the top of the NGS data sheet. I see the NAVD 88 orthometric height, which is 608.5 feet, 608.49 feet, so one hundredth of a foot, which is about three millimeters in metric. So I'm actually pretty impressed with this control point and how close we came using the Inlet Reach RF. If you wanna learn more about connecting to your local cores network, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out this video right here. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and I will see you all next time.